All right, piston number one. So in the last two videos, we looked at checking a few things as to why our BMW 325i E90 N52 engine was burning so much oil. And by now, we've checked a few things, we've changed the crankcase ventilation valve, and if you're interested in that DIY tutorial, I'll link the video down below. But after a thousand kilometers, it did not help us reduce our oil burning at all. So today, we're going to take a look at doing a compression check to see if there are any issues in the combustion chamber itself. N52 engines have low tension piston rings which allow the engine to rev up to 7000 RPM but then the rings do wear out sooner and thus let oil past the rings and it burns it in the combustion chamber. So if the rings and or valves are bad we should have low compression on one of the cylinders and well you can drive the car uh, but eventually that engine is going to die and you will need to it will need to be replaced or repaired so in the Bentley manual it says you're only allowed to have above 150 psi if you have below that that means you have low compression if you have more than 10 to 20 percent variance between the cylinders that means that cylinder does have an issue so if you have low compression this is when you would want to do a leak down test to check if it's the valves or the piston rings that are not sealing i don't have a leak down tester so i did not do this you can also squirt a bit of oil in the cylinder and repeat the process and if the number goes up that means that that cylinder has worn out piston rings so i also did not do this and that was my mistake because i thought my engine was fine so the procedure for this is number one, remove the fuel pump fuse. Number two, we're going to crank the engine a bit till it stalls out and all the fuel is gone in the engine. Number three, we're going to remove all ignition coils and connectors. And number four, remove all the spark plugs uh, as well from the engine. We're then going to number five, insert our uh, compression tester into one of the cylinders and we're going to crank the engine eight to ten times. And then when that's all done and you have the numbers, again, you can add, you can squirt a bit of oil down into the cylinders. Don't put too much because you can hydrolock the engine, but squirt a bit down there and repeat the process. And I'm going to show you guys how to do all of this right now. Okay, I've taken off the cover and whatever that thing is called, the shroud for the rear half of the engine. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out, we'll have to figure out how to unplug. Um, I think maybe I can pull the fuse, but I have to figure out how to unplug the power going to the injectors. Maybe that's, huh. maybe I'll pull a fuse. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll pull a fuse. Um, but then what we're going to do is we're going to take out the coils and uh, take out the spark plugs, thread in our uh, pressure tester, and see what pressures we get. Okay, so I've unplugged fuse number 35, which is right here, a little 20 amp little 20 amp guy so hopefully that turns off the fuel pump let's just test this out yep fuel pump did not prime so that's good so let's let's open up this uh, compression tester and see what we get So this is our compression tester that we have. Took out one of the spark plugs. Um, 
I thought it was a 14. It's one of these. I want to try this out. I need two hands. All right, piston number one. Okay, well, the first test, um, that number was really low, 126 or whatever it was, was way too low, um, which worried me. So I went and read online that you should take all the spark plugs out. So we're going to try that because it, the, if it has good compression, it's fighting five other cylinders, good compression, and you, and you want to be testing compression. So I took the other spark plugs out, and here is the, the third one. Um, this was completely caked. You see that white stuff there? It was completely caked, uh, black, um, gunked up, looked terrible. I scraped everything off. You can kind of see the ridges um, still on that centerpiece and that little bit there in the diode, but um, this is looking more normal. If you compare these, so all the other plugs look good. These are new plugs. So I ordered a new plug to replace this one and this one can be a spare. Um, or I have actually six other plugs. Um, so let's try this test again and see if the compression, let's make sure this is nice and tight. Yeah, make sure the compression um, is what it say it is. So yeah, of course, everyone's probably screaming at me, hey, you need to uh, test it cold, test it cold with oil. I don't know why I wrote old there, but test it with a squirt of oil in there. And if the compression goes up when you squirt oil in there, that means that the rings are getting old and have problems sealing. So I'm gonna, we're gonna test cold with no oil, then with oil, we're gonna test it hot and then maybe you can uh, guess what we're going to do next based on these values. I'm going to decide uh, what we're going to do. And it's all in that box underneath that red box there. So let's test this out. There you go. That's a much better number. 150, 160 ish. 160. I'm just going to put 160 here. Let's take this out. This is piston number two. Sorry, cylinder number two. Again, exactly about 160. Cold with no oil. That's a very good sign. I smell fuel, which isn't good. I turned off the fuel pump. So let's get this into cylinder three. And cylinder three, cylinder three is the one I'm suspe suspecting has a lot of problems. So this is a little scary. Let's check it out. 
All right, well, this is sort of for all the marbles. Piston number three. If there's a problem, this is the piston that's going to have it, I think, because of all that oil. What is it you guys know before I do? Oh. Well, that's quite interesting. 175. Maybe I'm not letting it crank long enough. That time I let it crank for nine times, I think. Hmm. This is quite interesting. Let's check the next one. So I just wanted to point out, like, this cylinder was burning quite a bit of oil. Look at all that on the threads. Like, um, that's oil on the threads. Like, there's something going on with this piston. Maybe it's higher because there is oil getting by uh, compared to the other cylinders. I don't know. But it's weird. So let's just move on to, you know, these were clean when you put them in the first two cylinders. So let's move on to the fourth cylinder. All right, cylinder number four. All right, 175, so maybe I should be cranking it nine times. You have to go back and do the first two again and crank it nine times. Okay, cylinder number five. Oh. I think I need to be cranking it a lot more. That's one, 180, wow. You know what, guys? I think this engine is healthy. And that we did solve our problem with the oil separator. And now it shouldn't be burning as much oil. So that changes everything. What should we do? All right, let's go. Okay, so that's one sixty. 60. So 25 divided by 2 is 12. So 160 something. All right, well, I'm going to retest but crank it 10 times on cylinder 1 and cylinder 2. So this is cylinder 2 right here. So, we got 170 on cylinder 2, almost 175. Alright, now this is cylinder 1 again. Wow, 
went even higher. Hmm. Okay, so piston six is actually low. Piston six is the lowest. That was a little bit unexpected. Okay, everybody. Our little experiment has yielded some quite interesting results. Um, the first two cylinders, I was not, the first two times we cranked uh, the car over, I was not cranking enough. Um, cylinder one has about 180, cylinder two has just over 170, three, 175, four is 175, five is 180, and six is 160. So that's, you know, within 10%, um, which is okay. Uh, I didn't think cylinder six would be bad, um, but those numbers show me that the car is healthy. It's even cold. I did not put any oil in it. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I don't think it'll it'll make that much of a difference. These numbers look like similar to what I've been looking up online. So we're very, very lucky um, that these numbers are good. That means the engine, the piston rings are healthy and the valves are good. So I'm not too sure, but I want to show you what I originally had in store uh, with this box here, I was going to try a engine revival experiment, but it seems to be okay. So, hmm, not too sure what to do just now. Hey everybody, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Um, in the next video, we go through a ton of different snake oil products to see if it will help reduce our oil consumption issues. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're interested in that. And hope to see you guys in the next video.